Ahoy mate, uh, so let's move to the next tutorial. So we covered the previous one, the 2D, now we move to the 3D. Pretty much the same as the, as the previous one. So I'm not going to introduce anything new, but I just want to comment a few things here. So this will be fast in the sense that I will let you skip fast to the next video. And then if you want to stick with me, I will show you a few things. So the physics is the problem, it's the standard one. So now it's 3D, we put the body here. The things that I'm going to show you is a snappy experience that there is a slight modification. Okay, so we initialize and then after a point, point in time, we have this. Okay, so you see that the solution here is not very nice just because the mesh is quartz you now to get fast results, but nevertheless, it's, it's some degree of accuracy. So let me show you this solution, okay? So this is in a fine mesh you now, so what you can get in a fine mesh. Okay, so nice results, but now we have experimental results here. Okay, not only the data, but also we have the video. And you can see that we can, we, we have a very good agreement, quite impressive, okay? And it's even better is to get even finer meshes. If, if I were to recall, this mesh is like 8 million, so something like that. So it's a quite nice result. This is what we're going to towards. So let me skip there. So you have the link for, for the video. So what I want to show you here is pretty much the same. Okay, I, I, I'm not going to spend any time. We know what is happening here. Also the turbulence modeling, that sort of stars that we're having and so on. And then what is happening in control date. Okay, which is the main modification. Okay, that's all. But what I want to talk about now, so far we haven't done anything related to open phone, to a snappy hex mesh. Okay, so that is what I want to show you. You know, do, those nuances in a snappy new version and, and the previous one and all those small details. So if we go here, you, you have a snappy hex mesh. Okay, so you have also surface feature there. And, in every single dictionary, there are very small differences. So most of the time there, there is back comp compatibility that is not going to, to, to damage as you have the previous the previous case at all open from 10, it's not going to start. But I think the best way is just to, to do the, the complete migration you now to, to the new version. So surface feature extract, okay. There are some slight differences, okay. Probably you need to compare very well to see what are those differences, but pretty much as you have this dictionary from the previous open from 10 and even nine by the way here and it took daily hey there but doesn't damage whatever we're doing uh there are some slight small differences mesh quality just to show you also some parameters change it but i think you can stay this uh, use the standards what i want to point out also here look at that I, I have a very clean dictionary here so i eliminate all the comments so people just get scared when they see snappy explanation because it tends to be a very complicated dictionary but just because you have all those comments and this is where we're going here snappy head mesh so i have it here and look at that it's very clean in the sense that i eliminate all the comments and you have those common keywords that you can use. So the first thing that I want to say regarding snappy mesh and something that I advise you to, to, to do the modification. So recall in previous version, the geometry, you have it in a folder called tree surface. I never understood why it was tree surface. Now they call it geometry. It makes a lot of sense. So you put your geometry there. So if still you have support for the tree surface directory, you know, that back compatibility, but I recommend you to use the, the, the new one and it makes more sense. Also, it changed a little bit how you read the geometry. So it's still you so you this old format, it is compatible, but now the new one, now you it makes more sense. You give the name of the object here. And here you read the file, like in the others that you declare now that internal, that geometry that is created within the snap. So for me also it makes more sense. Okay, so this is something positive. So it's not changing a lot your workflow. And something really cool, uh, I think many people request, or I don't know, but particularly speaking, I request that one. For instance, many, many times we know all the problems with the boundary layer, even with the snapping phase, but the boundary layer is very problematic. Uh, many times just disable that and then always it's very annoying that you need to leave that entry to define the boundary he here, no, the layer control. Now it's not required. So if you don't want to do boundary layer, you just erase everything. And I guess it will be the, the, the same with the snap control. If you don't want to do the snapping, you can erase all those. So this is 
quite good okay so very often uh, it was quite annoying that okay you need to put it there you need to identify walls or you have problems so that is a, a nice improvement I, I enjoy it I will finally okay then what else changed here I think I put a few comments here there are small modifications as I say is you have compatibility with the previous one but you will see that you have a few changes okay here also refinable uh, here it used to be levels and then you have this parenthesis and something a strange notation no in parenthesis so that stuff disappeared whatever also here in features also you have that level of stuff that no it's just one one keyboard okay and let me see what else what else what else, nothing else okay so that is the changes okay so try to 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 get the you know to the to, 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 to the new state of, of uh, Snappy X Mesh. Then the other thing that I wanted to comment that I have it here, I put here, no, I also, I mentioned in the previous video that the previous notation, now uh, probably you realize when you define this that you need to give units or in open fontaine and nine, whatever, you have this, this bracket here. Now in the new version, you need to put that. Okay, but still you have the, the back compatibility. Okay, so they are trying to simplify since I don't know. I don't know if this will be positive or negative, but you have that just to mention now this case. And at this point, I think uh, we have the control D, this the skin, so we can run the case. So in this case, we're going to do the mesh, okay, using this new dictionary. So the, all the previous cases were using block mesh now, it's snappy. So basically how we run this, exactly the same, it's snappy same keywords okay nothing changed and see that we had check mesh and create patch nothing nothing changed then to run the solver is phone run or or phone post processing and so on and before giving the green light giving you the green light to move to the next video i just want to mention that probably you realize that is everything now is phone run and then you need to identify your class or form post process but i haven't talked about one which is form multi-run Okay, so I didn't talk about this one. Uh, this is a subject of another video training, okay? Because this is the one that you use for conjugate heat transfer for a structure interaction, okay? So I think this this one is simplifying the way how you do these complex cases now that you have different fluid, solid, and so on, okay? So this is positive, but still it, it is something complex, complicated, but it's getting easier now. Previously, for those who have done a little bit no conjugate heat traffic you, you might be aware that it's quite tricky to set up the cases now things are getting easier so at this point you have green light to move to the ne next case if you want to stay with us here okay i'm going to address a few things when running the case and um, well remember to subscribe to our channel okay so okay if you are in the continuing this video okay so at this point we're ready to run the case i have nothing new to to do here so just to comment that we have the function object the my standard definition okay remember there are a few keywords here that i changed the most notorious one is this one and then the water and domain also be careful with this one so i'm computing here concentration oh, and then we have these probes online okay so these are remember that you have two kinds of probes we did it in the previous case i showed you i didn't do it but i showed you a comment that sometimes can be a little bit confusing so in this case we're going to focus probes online but you can also do it offline or a posteriori so if you don't get that, if you didn't get that concept, go to the previous video. So just to mention something about this probe, you have to be, because in this particular case, we're measuring, okay, in this pediment, they, they put some probes, probably you see some points there, or probably, I think we don't see, it. okay, let me see the video. Well, in, in the scene, there, there, are, there are some, 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 some probes there where they are measuring the pressure. Okay, and this can be tricky sometimes, and it's interesting that is you use this tolerance. Uh, this is the precise tolerance in the CAD. Okay, that is the surface. You're going to, it's going to give you, an, not an error, but when it measures, it's going to give you infinite values. Okay, so you need to give some tolerance. Okay, so be careful, I want to comment that this is not open from 11, all the versions, okay. 
Uh, so they have that. So it might be a good idea to have an auction here to sampling a, a wall. So probably you, you you might be aware that that auction is you are sampling in a line. You have that those tricks that you can go straight to the wall for pros that they don't have it might be a good addition or probably they already have it. I haven't realized, but for me, it's not a problem. I know always when I do it and I am doing this sampling that I need to give a little bit tolerance. We're going to see something of the results. So I have to prove here and here just playing with those tolerance just to show you what is happening. Remember white plus, this is the way I like to do it. I have to white plus white plus fill to save the field to visualize to look at my colors and then I have this one for the statistic to print every single iteration data and this is a question that many people ask now ah, I recall that in older versions of open phone this information was always printed and then suddenly disappeared okay and now you can only see it when you save that field this is the way that you can do it this work the, with this keyword here object so if you leave this empty it's not going to save the field but it's going to show you the log file in a screen or at every single iteration. And this is valid for every function object. Okay, so this is a, a trick that I'm giving you there. Um, pretty much this is it. Uh, what else I'm doing here? So, okay, the adjustable time stack, it works exactly in the same way. Okay, we already addressed meshing. Okay, so this is another training to talk about tricks. It's improving it's snappy, by the way. It's getting better. It's still, you have the problem with the boundary layer, but I think sooner or later, the developers are going to solve that problem, hopefully in the next 10 years. <laughs> okay, but let's see what happens with that. Okay, so physical properties there. Okay, we mentioned about the units and uh, also I talked about the previous video about this FB models. I will bring it back again. This is very important because usually when you have that interface between water and air or the faces, it tends to produce too much to make it energy and that can give you a problem. So this is a source star just to damp that, which by the way, if I will recall, only works with the KX0 model. Okay, so remember that always we have this phone and info, or you have the phone to see and to stress. Phone to see doesn't mean phone to see the programming language, phone table of content. I think the developers need, needs to change that word because that can create a lot of confusion. The first time I saw that, I saw, uh, I saw that, oh, okay, this is converting something to C. So see that this is that what you have and what is happening. You can read there. So just get familiar with fun info, abuse that commands and fun to see. Okay. A part of the semantics is also can give you a lot of uh, information. So moving here, also what else we have, nothing else to comment. Okay. We know what is happening here. And then we go to system. We already open all the files, control D, SB skins, the numerics is the same. Something that happens that it, I think it started in open phone nine or 10. I don't recall. Well, that in previous version, probably recall that there were two keywords. It was the other one that it was fee RB. I don't recall well. And now they unify everything. So this is how you, you work everything. And also there are some stuff like plique and so on, but this is something that we address in advanced training and some other videos, but it can give you more stability, but nothing new here. SB solution also pretty much the standard. Remember piece of stuff, this piece of block that used to exist in some solvers that entirely disappeared. Now everything is pimple or simple. That's all. Those are your only so, uh, options, but this pimple block that you have here, it's pretty much the same. So you have all these keywords here and then the correctors, you define everything and on the relaxation. To mention also, some people also ask, okay, this auction, how do you know the, the, those auctions that you can have for, for, for a solver? I think I already commented this in a previous video, but just to mention that you need to go to the source code now, get familiar. You have this fun info, fun to say, and probably that it can give you some information, but I know precisely now that there is some sim file here and actually CFD tools and general, and you have here solution control and you have pre-installed the solution controls. Okay. And you can see what are the, your, your default values is you enter there knowing the source code, you can look at that information. So there are many solutions control for, for the simple loop, those auctions that you see there or non-orthodontal correctors and so on. So I invite you not just to explore that, but 
this is general not to complement the learn your knowledge but you don't need to enter into that and i actually forgot where do you have okay it's incompressible it should be here you have some other control for cfv CS, cfd uh, cfl number and so on so let me see if i recall well, there is a previous video I have that I put that no that I don't recall. But yeah, here's where you, you, you can go and and get an idea. So let me see piece of control. So you have the piece of people controls and so on. Okay, so uh, let me move here. So probably we'll prepare a video just also how, well, actually have to do how to program or modify solvers because that is touch stuff changed a lot so at this point i think we can run okay nothing new to do and i would go this case runs in parallel you have the script there it will run in four cores if you have less or more you can change it but in any case this case is, is rather fast the mesh is very coarse the results when, when you visualize it a little bit they are not nice but when you the quantity that we measure is a, it's a nice quantity we're going to see that okay so i will launch the simulation i would let it run in i'm not going to show you everything because it might take like eight minutes i know so let me launch uh, okay uh, i need to load load open phone i think Okay, sometimes that happens for clean tutorials. And, uh, me. Okay, so in my case, the why I'm having a problem. Okay, let me close everything. Okay, run. Okay, I know. Uh, I have to generate the image. So I was run, running. Uh, solver but previously i need to run mesh so run all half everything so in this case it's going to run everything okay it's going to do the mesh in the simulation and let's wait and then i will do some other comments okay see that here is running as i mentioned you have minimum maximum values in the, the concentration of water in the domain and you have y plus values there now so you can monitor everything so we're using wall functions and so on so let's wait for the end of the simulation Okay, I'm back. So that took more than I was expecting. So uh, my computer is a little bit temperamental today. And yeah, I think it's like eight, 10 minutes in eight chords. But in any case, it's not that long. Okay, like 20, 25 minutes. So now that we have a solution, well, you can explore your output and so on. And what I want to show you that we have you no, know, what we're running, we impose, you know, we, we set up those function objects now. So all that information remember is safe here. So in particular, I'm interested in probes online and water in the domain. So just to remind you that there, there is another script run sampling and it's going to plot now. So what you have here is that these are experimental results. You have, I think, so what's the ref reference now? The video in the, in the slides and see that the experimental results and the numerical, there is a very good agreement. And then we have the water here. So remember that here there, there is some, maybe there is some water going out of the domain. And actually when we see the, the solution, there is no water going out, it's water disappearing, but just mesh with resolution, okay? But pretty much look at that, this is this is a very, very small amount. It's less than 1%, like 0.5%, okay? so. And then now you, we have in one pro measuring the pressure, but just to show you that the, the issue also that we have that depending on how far or how close you are to that wall, you might get into problems. And here in comparing, you know, different pros, you no. Know, so basically the pros close to the wall, one single Pro, but different distance you no know, from the wall, like something similar, no distance normal from the wall, like Y plus. And look at that, there are different behaviors, how things, uh, what you get. So you have to be careful now about that, how you measure. So see that this is a pro that is closest to the to the wall, and this is the farther one. Okay, so kind of have a better agreement, so something that you have to be aware now. So these are sources of, of error now. So it's not that bad, okay, but it's the agreement you're capturing the trend is it's quite impressive. Now when we look at now at the mesh, you will see that it's very imp it's impressive that we managed to get that that behavior okay 
this is the actual this is the the better results now this is the final mesh and there's much better and this is what we're getting when i mesh better cars so now that being said let me launch paddle from we're almost done by the way it's, we're running in paddle okay close and minus built in Okay, and then I think if I would recall, we have an estate there with everything there. Uh, choose this file, this one, okay, and here, no, let me save that estate. So also you will have the latest one. So look at this, what we have the geometry. Initial point, those sphere there, those are the sampling point, and what's not telling you that is you put it there pro properly <laughs> in the wall, you might get some problems when you are sampling, so you need to shift it a little bit, okay? And then when I press play, okay, you have there the water surface moving. I want to remind you that this is a very quartz mesh, and this, well, look at what is happening. You have there, look at that mysteriously there is something appearing but also something disappearing that is due to, to the mesh resolution it's not a fantastic mesh so just to show you that let me put there a cut a cut plane okay nothing here show plane and let me use crinkle slides so see that this is the mesh is a very very coarse mesh okay a little bit finer close to the body but but nevertheless we, we, we managed to get acceptable results okay and this is it now this is the case that we we are running okay a nice case and let me hide here also have the water label so here Okay, see, this is the solution in, in, in each cell, so actually this is kind of the Minecraft wave, okay, for those that follow Minecraft. So I'll see that you have it there, how things are moving. So at this point, it's up to you, whatever you want to do, okay. So we have covered a lot, okay, but most importantly, you know, it was that transition to OpenFone 11, as you see how we work. It's pretty much the same besides some keywords that you will need to update okay so at this point i think i don't i don't with this tutorial we have addressed a lot of physics we are missing two more tutorials to address something else now there's a lot the selections on other class solvers now so I, we're going to revisit okay this table here okay so but pretty much this is it okay so i think Thank you very much for your attention. Remember to subscribe to our channel and see you next video. Bye.